Hey guys, this is my steel wheels off my 65 Mustang. It's pretty dirty. I want to get it nice and painted black. So first thing you want to do is spray down. I got this nozzle from Harbor Freight. It just has no attachment. It's so it mixes with the water. Spray it down. You get your brush. So, use that to get all the crevices and stuff like that. You also got your um, steel, and you use that to get knock off any of the light rust, stuff like that. Pretty much evens out the surface, so uh, that uh, paint has a uh, can easily contact and stick onto the, uh, the metal. Even though only the front side is going to be showing, I also like to uh, just go ahead and clean the back side. it over to water only and just spray off the rest of the soap. Next thing you want to do is uh, let it completely dry, either use a towel or stuff like that, or whatever method you want, you can leave it just air dry. Okay, so once you have it all together like this, what I did was I used um, just regular note cards, and you go around the rim to cover it up, so that way you don't have any overspray on your tire. Uh, it gets just a cheap brake cleaner, I got this from Walmart. It's like 290 something. Spray it down. And then I'll let it evaporate. And then you have your uh, can of Philip Primer. What I like to do is just soak them in some uh, hot water. So that way the spray is out is more even. Make sure you shake it up nicely. And right here I'll have my other and grill paint. I like to use this type of paint just because it's a lot more durable and since these are going to be uh, on the road it's likely it's going to have a lot of rock chips and stuff like that so this will hold up a lot longer. Now make sure that all the brake skin evaporates. You can help it along. Sometimes it takes a while, just wipe it down. I'll probably just skip ahead to when it's all, all dried up. I'll come back and show you the rest. Alright, so all, all the brake cleaner is dry now. So what you want to do is just spray some light coats. Uh, you can do three total coats. And uh, first one's going to be lightest, and then as you go progressively, the coats are going to get heavier and heavier. All right, let's begin.
should be good for the first coat. We're gonna let it sit for a while and dry and come back. Put on the second coat. Okay, coat two. Gonna lay it down a lot more heavy now. Uh, try to be more precise and uh, fill up inside those crevices because uh, you don't want to miss any of those spots. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. Time for the black coat. It's gonna be a first coat, light coat. Okay, now let it dry, come back. Be three last and final coat extra heavy. All right, looks good. I'll let it dry, come back, show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all finished. Looks good, I'm gonna toss it out of my car and show you what it looks like then. Okay guys, this is what it looks like once it's done. Uh, as you see, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not gonna blow anybody's mind away, but it's good enough to get you by until you can actually have the funds to purchase 
the uh, Magnum 500s or whatever type of rims you want to get.